Are you ready? Because he's ready. It's Master Jones! Martial arts expert, instructor extraordinaire, and general clown. He's not afraid of coronavirus. He's not afraid of the bad guys. Master Jeff is not afraid of anything. No, 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 no. What is up, ladies? You hard-working, early-rising warriors. Bebe, remember your comma. The sentence, let's eat grandpa. Without a comma, that makes you a cannibal because you are going to eat your grandfather. You're suggesting that we eat grandfather. Let's eat grandpa. But with a comma, let's eat, comma, grandpa. That means you're talking to grandpa and suggesting that you eat. One little comma makes so much difference. But this is not a grammar and punctuation class. This is early morning workout, brah. So we're going to get going and uh, remind me later on. Somebody chat a reminder for me to show you black beauty. No, it's not a horse. It's kind of a horse. It's my bicycle. I love that bicycle. She is everything to me. And I've got a picture of me on her at 7-Eleven early this morning before the sun came up. So somebody chat a reminder later on and we'll get on it. Everybody here, you know the Tai Chi stuff, so I ain't even going to bother reviewing it. Let's just dive in, ladies. Here we go! Kokunage slash stroking the wild horse's mane. That is my favorite, dude. My back's been a little tweaky this morning. I don't know what the freaking deal is. We had to move a couch uh, last night, and probably I shouldn't have even gone. I went, and Chicago said, well, you're not going to do any moving. You're just going to watch and kind of direct because you've done this kind of thing before. So she and Seven lifted the couch, and uh, Seven, I must say, did a good job. But he's an inexperienced mover. So when we were trying to get the couch in our door, though he was lifting it and he's really strong, he didn't have the control to get it angled right to fit in the door. And I kept explaining. And finally, I just went over there and moved the couch for him and ended up carrying the couch. So uh, that's not good. If you've got any kind of back issue, whenever you bear weight, it compresses that spine and see your nerves come out the side of your spine in little holes uh, between your vertebrae. So when the spine gets compressed, it pinches that nerve and sends shooting pain down your back and leg from the point at which it is constricted. So, um, and it always takes like a day or two to, to feel the effects of a nerve pinch like that, unless you really pinch it good. I guess because the swelling is delayed? I don't know, but I'm feeling a little twingy this morning, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna still take it easy. All right, so then let's do some Aiki Undo. Here we go, ready?
Frank. And then some Uda Furiundo. Here we go. Big circles. Cool. And then finally, some Sayu Mundo. Here we go. Ocean wave rolls. The ocean wave crashes. Some little balance issues there in the middle. What the smack? All right, and let's do um, some stretches too. So first, let's do some uh, balancing just to kind of gently warm up our uh, hamstrings. So we'll go out like this, one leg up, and on that foot on the floor, try to put your weight on your heel. And then the other side, here we go. Oh. Strangely, that's the leg with the pinched nerve so maybe it was, uh, I've got a little bit less feeling in that leg. Let's stretch our quads, which I desperately need from my bike ride this morning. And then the other leg. I know you have no frame of reference, but um, my time is usually around 20 minutes. If I'm really tired, it can take as much as 21, even 22 on really bad days. And if I'm really pumping it, I can get it right under 20 to 19 something. This morning, I was 18.50. I broke 19 minutes. So that's good. It's four and a half miles up to 7-Eleven. That's what I time. And on the way back, I don't pump it quite so hard. So four and a half miles and right under 19 minutes. First time I've ever uh, beat 19. All right, now let's stretch these hamstrings a little bit. I'm gonna start with uh, my Larry, or your righty, or you can do it however you want. Choose a leg and rock it.
Good. Then the other leg. Well, 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 there's Jordan. To smack with quarantine, bro. I don't know what happened to it, and I don't care. That feels good this morning. Good stretch. All right, now knees up. Stick it over to the side. I like my belt to the side and stretch it out. Very nice this morning. Down to the middle. And then up and twist back with your back straight. Good, then the other side. And go. That's still good, but not as good as the other side. That other side is the one, is the uh, side with the bad back. So it really uh, felt good to stretch today. And then down the middle. Uh, then back straight and twist back. Okay. So I don't know how my kicks are going to be today. Still, kicks are great uh, exercise and cardio. So we're going to make a little adjustment to basics one, two, and three. We are going to kick before each punch, right? Everybody got it? So here we go, basic one. With a kick before each punch, to me. Let's do it on our own count, folks. Ready, set, go. comes next. We do in 10 push-ups after each form. Over to the side is just 10. It's like a break time, bro. 10 push-ups. We did 40 in a row yesterday. 10 is no problem. So here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Let's do two to go on. One, two. 
Oh, yeah, baby. So maybe we'll just call it a twack, man. Let's do a twack after each form. That sounds good to me. How about you? Of course it does. Sounds great. All right, basic two with a kick preceding each punch and before each high block. To me, basic two, modified with kicks, and see ya. Those should have been down blocks. Busted! Yeah! tell you the problem uh, inserting those kicks I distracted myself which is a good mental exercise I got to thinking about uh, my body naturally went into Paul guy two instead of basic two where you do a high block kick punch no master Yafu, just basic two or the kick before every punch and high block what are you guys talking about Jordan the same thing every single day you come so at least come with a high MJ. Thank you, Febe. Don't get distracted, Febe. Be like uh, Ethanote 14 and keep the chat low and the workouts high. Let's do a twack. Here we go. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whack, whack. Yeah, baby, doesn't it feel good to be able to knock out ten push-ups and like, oh, I could go to sleep while doing these things. Basic three, kick before every punch. To me. And she chop. for a twag, baby. Belts to the side. Touch that tummy on every push-up. And ha! Duel. Set. Net. Pass. Yes. Heel up. You do. A hop. You. Whack! Twack! Here we go. So that's basic three. Chill out for a minute, chillax, because I got to show you guys my best friend, Black Beauty. 
<laughs> Easy, girl. Have an apple. <laughs> no, it's not a horse. I'll show you what it is. It's my bicycle! Look at that! Isn't she just wonderful? Look at those scars up there on the mainframe. That is so awesome. Look at those handlebars. And this, my friends, is not a 10 speed or a 87 speed like everybody has. It is a three speed in the hub gear bike. So you have three speeds and they're in an internal, uh, they're inside the rear hub. I wish I'd have gotten um, a lower shot so you could see that, but um, that's why there's only one cable. It has foot brakes, which are called coaster brakes. You pedal backwards to brake. And let me see if I can use myself to point out, you see that little cable right there, right between the handlebars, snakes down here, and then look right there on that bottom tube, you see it running down, then it goes right there inside the hub of my rear tire. And the brake, I mean, the. Uh, if you look at the lower right-hand corner of me, I'm circling the way you shift gears. You just twist it. And there's only three gears to choose from, which is really all you need. I don't get it with the um, 87 gears. You don't need 87 gears. Maybe if you live in the Appalachian Mountains or something and you have hills that go like this. All right, so you need a super, super, super low gear. And I guess maybe if you're uh, like one of those super speed races, okay, maybe you need a super high gear. Still, I could see the need for no more than five. For most practical level ground riding, I don't get it with more than three gears. And once you get those gears dangling down and the chains and stuff, um, that's a lot to maintain. And I do my own bike maintenance. With an internal hub, it's all inside. I can ride right through a mud puddle or a pile of elephant crap. And all I have to do when I get home is hose it off. The gears are unaffected. It's all sealed. And uh, of course, you can break the seals and get inside there if you need to clean them out or whatever. But you don't do that hardly ever. Maybe once or twice in the life of the hub. Anyway, I love Black Beauty. My bike. Isn't she beautiful? Let's take one more look at her, folks. Let's take one more. Look at that! I'm just going to blow it up a little bit. There she is. Look at that. Absolute beauty. And look at those knobby tires. No, I'm not riding on any trails or anything, but that's what I used to do. So uh, using the knobby tires, it just uh, brings back old memories. Uh, and that's what I prefer. And I guess the people who have the uh, 87 gears on their bike, that's just what they prefer. And it's cool with me. The more the merrier to each his own. But for me, three gears in a cloud of dust, baby. Oh, uh, what are we on? Pyongan one. And just to make it interesting, let's do the same thing. But we will do a kick this time just before every punch. So Pyongan one, kick before each punch. Here we go. To me, she chop.
Knock out a quick twat. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twack! Twack! Don't you love the twacks, baby? Pin on two. Pin on two already has kicks, so we don't need to modify. Here we go. To me. And see up. key up. I hate it when anybody forgets the key up and then they key up after the fact. What did you say? My mom just got home. Hello, Etten Holt. I mean, Miss Tanet. Hope you can join us. So what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Oh yeah. It's twag time, baby. Bells to the side. Here we go. And Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roko, Shiji, Haji, Ku, Ju, Wak, Twak. There we go. Yeah, baby. Let's see what's next. Oh, Piran 3. I'm going to be very careful with those crescent kicks, because they kind of twist around. Uh, you might have been noticing my left kicks are kind of lackluster, quite by design, folks, because of that pinched nerve. I don't want to repinch it, because it's still a little tweaky. So, pin on three, baby. To me, she up.
Quack time! And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, quack, twack. This is just too easy, dude. Oh, Miss Tanette, you missed it a while ago. Hopefully you are uh, now working out with us. But yeah, I'm going to show it off again, kids. My bike! Her name, Miss Tanette, is Black Beauty. This is me at 7-Eleven this very morning in the streetlights. Let's just blow this up so you can see the important part, which is Black Beauty herself. Look at that! Is that not the most gorgeous bike you've ever seen? And if you look at the lower right-hand corner of my picture as it floats around the screen, lower right-hand corner, you see that one cable. It goes down here to here, and where that ends up is right there in my rear hub because this is a now rare and hard to find uh, three-speed internal hub gear bicycle. I'm not big on, uh, on the hanging down gears, Miss Tanette. Just too much maintenance, too complicated, and you don't need them. And most people who have like a 32 gear bike, they use maybe three of the gears the vast majority of the time. All right, if you look at my picture down in the lower left-hand corner, I will show you a little trick. Are you watching? <gasps> all right, all right, yeah, 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 but thank you very much. Don't applaud, just throw money. What form are we on? I think Pyongyang 5, here we go. To me, Pyong on five, like a champ, ladies and gentlemen. She's <laughs> up. Of course I did. Jumping is not bad for your back, but landing is. So if I were in outer space, I would jump to my heart's content. No problem, as I would do deep in the ocean. However, on land with gravity at play, you can't land. So I did a wimpy jump, sorry. Twag time! Here we go! Knock them out nice and clean, ladies. Hold on. Duo. Set. Net. Tass. Yes. You got. Nadul. Hop. Yul. Whack. Twack. This is too easy, man. 12 push ups. We have earned a break, ladies and gentlemen. Basai. To me, and she up.
Now let's see. We've done 10 perform. That is nine forms, right? Basic one, two, three. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. And beside. That is nine times 12. So that would be what? Is that 108? Something like that? What is, kids, don't embarrass yourselves. Learn your multiplication tables. Nine times 12. I was right, 108, but I wasn't certain of it. That's the thing. So really, if we just knock out another twack, that'll be what? 120 push-ups this morning? We tough. We tough. Let's knock out a twack. Here we go. And hop, do, set, net, toss it, gas it, you got, you do, a hop, you, whack, twack. That is too easy, baby. Give me a stinking break. That is so easy. We deserve for it to be easy because yesterday we'd be knocking out 40 at a set as we will tomorrow, uh, ladies. So make sure you've got your dancing shoes on tomorrow. Today is somewhat of a, a break and kind of a general workout day. But just to let you guys know, every morning at approximately 4 a.m., I am right here on Black Beauty. And I am riding nine miles. I always time the first half and I just kind of chill out the second half. I call it chill out. I'm still going most fast, uh, much faster than most people would go. So, um, you know, I'm standing up on my pedals and stuff. But I've been struggling. See, now I'm bragging to Miss Tanette because I know she missed my lecture at the beginning. I usually hit a, about 20 minutes, 21 if I'm really, really tired, 21 and change. And I'm always excited if I can get like 1958 or something. Well, I decided to make it my mission to break 19. So this morning, I did it. I was 1850. That's 4.5 miles. And um, basically, you call it 19 minutes, a little less. How, how would you break that down to miles? Let's see here. I think you would say 19 minutes divided by 4.5 is 4.22 minutes per second. So four and approximately one-fifth minutes. A fifth of a minute is, I don't know, what, 15 seconds would be a fourth. A fifth is maybe 10 seconds, something like that. 10 seconds would be a sixth, so like 12 seconds or something. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. Uh, not too shabby. I'm not, um, I'm not at all ashamed of that for a 57-year-old man with a busted back. And I also have to say that um, during the course of the day, I stop every time I go to the restroom, you know, those chin-up bars, and I knock out a few chin-ups or pull-ups. And every time I walk through the mat, I jump right over there on Master Settle's uh, evil medieval torture machine and uh, uh, throw down some push-ups or uh, rather some pull-ups or, um, or chin-ups too, just, you know, just to keep things interesting throughout the day. And then, of course, two classes, at least two classes every day. Most of the classes I just watch, but still we do a decent warm-up. So I'm peppering in some warm-up throughout the day just so you'll know. Uh, my schedule. I like to let you guys know what I'm doing. This is kind of an experimental thing. My weight. I had a bad weekend. I, I don't know what it is. It's a psychological thing. I become a different person on the weekends. Um, I, I just, I was resting my back, laying on my lazy boy, and I just noshed, dude. You know, Zoe made Father's Day vanilla ice cream, and I had a bowl of ice cream. What can I say? There, I admitted it. I'm clean. And we had chicken thighs for dinner, which is good. Unless you eat 12 of them. I didn't eat 12, but I ate a lot of freaking chicken thighs. Guys, there are a lot of chickens 
in America rolling around on wheelchairs because of me. I ate the thighs. <laughs> no, seriously, I did nosh, man. Saturday and Sunday. It wasn't too bad, though. I was 208 Monday. Remember last Monday, I was uh, 212. And I've been as low as 204 um, yesterday. So I'm hoping to beat that 200 mark this week. 199, folks. That is my goal. I'm just coming accountable with you guys, coming clean, sharing with you my journey through this. That was supposed to be the whole thing with the morning workout. We do prison cell style, no fancy stuff, stuff you can find. And I share exactly what I'm doing with you, even though it might be uh, TMI in some cases. Anyway, it's time for me to get out of here. I've got a lot of work to do, folks. We got testing coming up Saturday. I'm so excited. It's going to be great. All right, Miss Tanette, Juby, Febe. Um, Valeria and Jordan, I think that's everybody who's here. I will see you guys later. I am out of here. This has been a self-planning hyperdo live stream with Master Jeff. Before practicing the techniques, learning live stream with Master Jeff. Oh, gone, stone, slosh, tipsy, buzzed, blotto, slammed, plowed, tried, play, I'd hammered, wasted, and created, or otherwise intoxicated. Watching live stream with Master Jeff, you would the possibility of it. We all lie a bill before him, a total lacerate, of simple fracture, broken over, deep, and dislocation, strain, restrain, wrist, hyperextended elbow, broken ribs, bruising, bleeding, tear, sprains, fractures, dislocated, shoulder, or concussion, all rights reserved, unauthorized presentation, and publication, strictly prohibited.